If you operate a website, you know the importance of avoiding downtime. There are a number of services which periodically check to see if your website is up and will notify you if it ever goes down. While these services work fine, they generally cost money and require signing up for yet another third-party tool. I recently had the idea to handle uptime monitoring with GitHub Actions. In the next three minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. GitHub Actions are a way to run a program triggered by any GitHub event, such as a push, issue creation, or release. Normally, this is used for doing things like running a test suite, building container images, or deploying your application. Three, two, one, zero, and lift off of However, we can also trigger workflows based on a recurring schedule. So I'm going to use it to create a makeshift uptime monitor. One thing that makes GitHub Actions unique from other CI systems is an emphasis on sharing and reuse. So while we could implement this ourselves fairly easily, we can also search the marketplace for existing solutions. Searching for the word uptime, I see two public actions that look like they would work, and I'm going to choose the one with more stars. Now we just need to configure our repo to use it. We do this by creating a YAML file within the .github slash workflows directory in our repository. First, we give the workflow a name. Then, we define a schedule upon which we want it to run. This uses a format known as a cron string. Five asterisks would indicate for it to run once every minute, but GitHub Actions have a maximum frequency of once every five minutes, and we only get 2,000 free build minutes per month, so I reduce the check to run once every 10 minutes. If you want to learn more about cron strings, I suggest you go to crontab.guru and check out their examples page. Next, we define the workflow itself. It will have a single job, which I named ping site, and run on an Ubuntu Linux machine. The job will run the uptime action we found earlier in the marketplace, configured with our URL, as well as the expected status code. I use 200 here because that is the HTTP code for success. And that's it. We just commit this file and push it to GitHub, and the action will run every 10 minutes. As long as the website returns a 200 status code, the action will remain silent and just show a green check mark on the Actions tab of the repository for each time it's run. If it ever fails, however, GitHub will send us an email to notify us. If we wanted to get extra fancy, we could configure the action to send us the result in another way, such as via text message or maybe even via Slack. I realized while making this video that there are all sorts of things that can, but maybe shouldn't be done within a CI pipeline. For example, I could send a reminder email for upcoming holidays, try mining cryptocurrency, although I think that would probably be against the terms of service, or even turn on my smart home lights after each commit to the repository. I'm going to make a follow-up video named Doing Stupid Stuff with GitHub Actions, in which I take five ridiculous ideas and implement them as actions. Leave your ideas for things that I should include in that video in the comments below, and I'll try to pick some of the best ones to include. If you got value from this video and want to see more like it, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. It really helps the channel out and makes me smile. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.